Almost 11 years ago, my husband brought home my first goat, the cutest little black pygmy goat I had ever seen. So small and sweet. When I saw this cute goat wandering around by himself though, I feel looking a little lost, I knew he needed a companion. So we went back the next day and got another one, a white little ornery bugger. <laughs> so we had a black goat, and a white goat that we named Felix and Festus. We didn't have fencing for them, so they wandered around looking for us and followed us everywhere. They soon became a part of the pack of dogs. We had three at the time, and, and they would follow us literally everywhere, down the lane, up the lane, across the field, and they would have traveled in the back of the pickup <laughs> with the dogs if they could have figured out how to jump up. They just couldn't manage that jump with, with their just extra short legs. I've never seen a goat more indignant than those two when they realized they had been left behind. I had all the love for those two goats, but that doesn't mean I was prepared for them. We didn't have fencing. I had no idea what kind of care they required, and I didn't track all of the really important information in a goat management binder like I should have. But the good news is, is that now you can be prepared. Be before bringing your first goat home and before your goats get settled in, you can compile this list and more to keep your goats happy and healthy. At the time of this recording, over 118,000 people have read this information on my website. It's a a lot of information and it's important information. So start taking notes now. Also, I am so excited that you are looking into getting goats. If you aren't convinced yet that you do need goats, you need to watch this video. Your life needs a goat. So it's 13 reasons that you do need a goat. So watch that here. And don't forget that a goat is a herd animal, which means you get Two, remember our second drive to get another goat? I mean, once you've done your impressive convincing to get a goat, you automatically get two. Now, how cool is that? <laughs> Congratulations, it's a great choice and although there's a learning curve with any new endeavor and adventure, you won't regret it. I'm gonna be honest, there is a lot of information in this video, but it is crucial for you to get to the bottom of all of this. I'm going to leave you important next steps to take right now and then I'll mention them again when I get to the end of this video as well. Don't forget to get a goat. First of all, you'll need to get a goat management binder on its way to your doorstep and, and into a binder like this, ready to be used. You can start familiarizing yourself with all of the important medications that you'll need to have on hand and what you will need to look for on a daily basis just to watch for sickness and, and even just how to trim your goat's hooves. That's an important part of raising goats. It's, it's actually a must to know how to do. Oh, how I need this binder 11 years ago when I first brought my cute little friends home. One of the best things you can do for your goats is to keep track of all of the important health related information in a management binder like this one. This binder will also help you to understand your goat's health and what to do when they get sick. This bundle will be your brain and will help you raise healthy goats. It's full of to-do lists, checklists, record-keeping sheets, and resources, resource pages that, that will get your new or, or even your old goat herd off to a terrific start. You can gain access and download the, the helpful and free Bring Your your first goat home checklist in the link below as well so don't forget to do that it will be on my free resource page so check that out below okay let's get started before bringing your very first goats home these are the items on the list of what you should have in place these are your your goat essentials that you need I already mentioned the goat management binder you'll also need to have an emergency plan for your goats this is in the goat binder but think about this it's an, so important it if you don't have something planned out an emergency pops up you will feel shocked and fearful but if you have a plan already mapped out you can act 
in confidence. You also need to learn your, your basic goat health information. This will give you an idea of just the general goat health information that, that is important to know that you can compare your animals to. This channel and the link below to my goat resource page will be a huge benefit to you as questions come up. This YouTube channel and and that resource page will, will give you a, a whole host of information about owning and raising goats. So please check those resources out. You can also begin your journey and begin to prepare for goats with my free five day mini course, which, which includes videos, PDFs, video transcripts, and access to my email if you have any questions. It's called Prepare for Goats. I'll link that below as well. Move into the next items that you need to have ready. Goats are great escape artists. They most likely need to be contained or you won't have any flowers left. <laughs> They might get run over or they will be in unsafe areas with dogs and predators. These are some options that you can choose from as far as fencing goes. So a pallet fence, a pallet fence like, like this one. So sheep or cattle panels like these ones also are a great option. Woven wire is can, can also work. Electric fence is also an option. Just know you need to keep your goats contained by some sort of fencing and you'll want to have that figured out before you bring your goats home. I will link below an article about fencing options and you can watch that video that goes into great detail on all the options I just mentioned. That, that's on my challenge channel as well so be sure to check that out. Now I just want to touch on a few things that are really important to think about before you bring home your first goat. So <laughs> you always want to investigate the health of the goats in the original herd. You don't want to be bringing home a sick and unhealthy goat to your property. And if you are also bringing home a buck, the fencing that you have between the does and the bucks should be put together really well and secure enough to keep them apart. If possible, you can even have a space between the bucks and the does so they aren't like really directly over the fence from each other. It seems to me that when a goat is in heat and the tip of their nose can fit through a small space, they will be on the other side of that fence, guaranteed. And if you're bringing your goats home to an established herd, always have a quarantine pen to keep the, the new goat or goats in for several weeks so you can just monitor them and make sure that they're not sick. And lastly, you need to think long term. If, like, if you'll be having kids in the future, you will need a separate area to wean them. So think ahead. Plan ahead now while you're building your fences. Go away, Rocky. You don't need your help right now. Oh, I'm cold. Did you know I need to stick my hands in your warm fur? I'm cold, Rocky. I'm cold. Moving on to shelter options. By far, these are the cheapest and easiest pallet goat shelters to build for your goats. They are a perfect size and can be made very inexpensively, and they don't require a lot of room. This double size pallet goat shelter is an excellent option for a larger herd, and you can also use a barn or a lean to like the one that I've been using this winter. You can also build a rather inexpensive shelter using a tarp covering cattle panels that are hooked to pallets. They make panels, the panels then are rounded um, atop because they're rounded over and then you put the tarp over that and hook the panels to the pallets themselves. And an A-frame plywood house is also easy to build and, and can be used as well. Winter is a grueling time up north. So I need to be on top of my winter goat care game. If you live in a cold climate, it will be worth watching the video on my channel called Goat Care in Winter. This video will walk you through how to care for goats in the bitter cold of winter. And it was recorded when it was well below zero. I think it was negative 18 degrees. So here are some important considerations about shelters for goats. Your goats will need shelter from the rain, snow, wind and elements. Goats out of all of the ruminants struggle the most regulating their body temperature. 
Goats also can very easily get pneumonia and you'll need to know what to do. So watch that video on my channel as well called Pneumonia Treatment and Signs. Careful thought about your shelters will help keep your goats warm and dry, which decreases their risk of pneumonia, which is actually the leading killer in goats. All right, next up is bedding options. You can use any of these three options, pine shavings, straw, or hay. So especially in the winter, a bedding of some sort will help keep your goats warmer and dry. The bedding will soak up the urine because goats can't help but go potty right where they lay down. So here are some things to think about, uh, about bedding. I use straw usually because my husband is able to bale up straw after he gets our hay cut and baled. So you can purchase shavings at your local feed store if you don't have a straw options, but also think outside the box. We purchase shavings in bulk from the Amish sawmill. Ask around and, and figure out what works for you and is the most cost effective. Hay as a bedding source will most likely be more expensive but in our barn here where we stack the hay during you know during the fall and the winter months all the loose leaves and stems fall and then when kidding begins I've used that for bedding so in this case I didn't buy hay specifically for bedding but I've used the fallen hay for bedding of course water is very important you'll either have one of these these water sources you'll have city water well water rain or snow runoff like using a rain catchment system or a pond or a stream and to hold all of that water you'll need a water trough or water buckets but there's something that is really important to know your water source could be seriously affecting your goat's health you can watch this video on my channel or read about it on my site it's called your water source is affecting your goat herds health okay and I'm just gonna say these things these next things even though they may seem obvious so as we know of course water is essential milking goats will require fresh water available at all times lack of water isn't good for any goat or animal and will affect the amount of milk produced in your milking goats so ruminant animals need water to help digest their food without it they can get very sick very quickly Quickly. And if you have multiple pins, play around with how two pins can share one water trough like I have here. It's feeding this pin and the goats on the other side. That is so funny. Throughout the last seven years since bringing home uh, our first milking goats, I have gone through a lot of ideas and ways to feed them. It seems inevitable that there will be hay waste, but I settled on this goat pallet feeder that I am the happiest with. And from my observation, any hay or grain that hits the ground has become contaminated in the goat's eyes and they most likely won't touch it. Feeding off of the ground in a hay feeder may help prevent digestion of worms that are on the ground, but during those winter months, I've actually been feeding my goats on the hay field here and spreading out the hay. This will help the hay, this will keep it from piling up in the goat pen and it will add organic matter to this hay field, which will be really good. Now, you need hay to put in the feeder, right? So here are some options for your goats. You can feed them alfalfa, grass, peanut, or even clover hay. You'll need to use the goat hay cost calculator found on my site. You need to know how much hay to have for the entire year to get you through the winter months. So use that calculator to find out how much, how many ton that you'll need for your goats. 
I'd also encourage you to watch the video on my channel called What Do Goats Eat? Goats will immediately start consuming hay. So for peace of mind, have your hay source found and acquired. There is nothing more frustrating than hunting hay when you are completely out and need it immediately. Alfalfa hay is a good choice for goats and milk but isn't as necessary for weathers and without proper nutrition and water, the combination of all three of those, it can cause urinary calculi in bucks. Depending on your location and weather patterns, you will most likely buy your hay during the summer months and will need a very good way to keep it out of the weather and in a barn of some sort or covered somehow so that it doesn't mold before it's fed. If your goats are pregnant or in milk, then you'll be feeding them grain too, so you'll need to start thinking about that. You can either feed them whole, pelleted, rolled, or texturized grain. I found that goats will do best on whole grain, and I have fed rolled barley quite a bit without any problems. Um, so this is the goat grain equipment that you'll need. You'll need a grain dish, a measuring cup or a scoop. A milking stand is really helpful and useful to feed the goats from. But here are some important considerations that you need to think about with grain. If you're bringing does home in milk or the goats are being fed grain before you buy them, find out what grain they are being fed and either locate that same feed or ask to buy some of that grain from the owner. And when your goats arrive home, you can slowly incorporate the new grain with the old grain to get them accustomed to that change. So Kira and Ruthie, the first goats that I brought home in milk, were quite picky about their, their grain and it took them a while to adjust to the rolled barley that I give them now. Changing a goat's diet quickly can cause them to bloat and will have very, very serious consequences. I camp on this next one a lot. Loose mineral is very, very important. You have to have loose minerals out for your goats at all times. But goats will stand on the mineral or salt blocks and soil them and quite possibly won't touch them after that. Also, do not buy the mineral specified for goats and sheep. Sheep cannot have copper and goats need copper. Find mineral with the proper ratio of about two parts calcium to one part phosphorus. I don't have time to go into all the full details, so please, please, please watch this video on my channel. It's called Your Complete Goat Mineral Guide. I believe strongly that minerals are the most important part of raising goats. And these DIY mineral feeders are so easy to make and so very inexpensive. Just have a plan to keep it out of the weather like I have here. You can make a mineral dispenser uh, for baking soda. This here is baking soda, which helps regulate their rumen and it aids in digestion and just helps prevent bloating. Okay, so here are some other supplement supplements that you might need to give and that are really important. Copper is essential, like I said, for a goat's health. You need to watch the several videos that are on my channel about copper boluses. Um, and so really, they are so important to know about the other supplements that you might need to have. And so uh, you can find more information on my channel about that as well. Now here I am in my milking barn with my milking stand uh, right behind me. And I actually am surrounded by all of the <laughs> all of the goat supplies that I need. I've been going through them and organizing them, figuring out what I have, but now we can move on to the milking supplies. So I so enjoy my milking time. It provides me a time of quiet and peace and it also provides food for my family. And so that is something that it can do for you as well. So here's what you need to start planning for that if that's something that you'll be doing in the future. You'll need a, a milking st stand like something like this one or they have freestanding ones. You'll need a steel milking bucket, a funnel, a strainer to strain the milk into glass containers for consumption, some milk filters, glass jars or containers for storage and some mastitis tests. Again, I don't have time to go into all the details and, and just give you a list, but don't worry, I've provided you lots of resources and videos to help you out getting started milking. I have a handful of milking videos on my channel to watch as, as just as you get ready to figure this out. And to get your goats in milk, you'll need to know all of the heat signs, how to breed your goats, and, and then the labor signs that start this whole milking 
making process. So watch those videos on my channel. And it doesn't hurt to know the astounding benefits of goat milk either. So you can watch that too. Now let's move on to something uh, that that's more like the general supplies. Do your research and decide for yourself if you'll use a, an herbal warmer or a chemical warmer or a combination of both. Just know that worms are a leading killer in goats and if your goats do get worms, it's best to get them gone quickly and with a chemical dewormer. And you'll need an oral syringe for drenching. It's a great way to administer herbal dewormers um, or herbal warmers and other medications that you'll give to your goat. So this is important. Leashes and collars come in handy when these critters uh, find the weak point in the fence and break out <laughs> or when your little boy leaves the gate or latch open. <laughs> Brushes are wonderful because goats love attention and they can help keep the lice away. You may want some clippers to use on your goats that have longer hair or get hair or get mat in, mats in their hair and you'll might want to trim them in the hot summer months or right before they do give birth and a rectal thermometer is absolutely essential a goat's temperature will tell you if they are sick it is absolutely essential to have a thermometer on hand so get one that's one of the first things you need to get <laughs> now on to the fun chore of hoof trimming you will need gloves take my word on this you won't regret wearing wearing gloves the goats wiggle and the quick jerk of their leg can put a nice hole in your finger if you aren't careful. <laughs> so wear protection on your hands. And I recommend purchasing trimmers that are actually specifically for goats. Before purchasing these, I did try some other trimmers and it is much easier to use ones made specifically for trimming goat hooves. And you may also want a hoof pick and a brush and a hoof plane that will just help you work with their feet. And hoof and heel heals all types of hoof injuries if you happen to cut too close. So here's the deal. Goat hooves need to be trimmed on a regular basis. If not, their hooves will grow under and trap poop and dirt and can cause their hooves to grow in just unnatural ways. It's important to keep them trimmed, really. Not only is it healthier for the goat, but it is also much, much easier for you to trim regularly. Trim at least quarterly, but a goat's hooves may need to be trimmed as much as once a month. So just keep an eye on the feet at all times. If you have a busy life with a lot to remember, you need to write down and keep track of when you last trimmed your goat's hooves and that is easy to do with my goat binder. So remember to get that. <sighs> wow. That was quite a list, wasn't it? If you've made it this far, I applaud you. You are really serious about getting go goats. So right now, after hearing all of this, what should your next steps be? Well, first, as I already mentioned, get your goat management binder headed your way and then get it into a binder ready to be used. You can start familiarizing yourself with the important medications that you will need to have on hand and what you will need to look for on a daily basis to watch for sickness and even how to trim goat hooves like we just mentioned. And don't forget to gain access and download the free and helpful before bringing home your first goat checklist in that link below. This list provided is just the start. This list will grow as, uh, as the goats get settled and you will continue to learn more and more and will learn to keep your goats happy and healthy. So with all of that information, I bid you adieu. My name is Delcy from A Life of Heritage. I encourage you to like this video, hit that subscribe button and go get those goats home. No, really, go, go get those goats home. I'm serious. Go, go get the goats and bring them home and then email me a picture of your new goats. I love to meet your goats. I, I get emails all the time of people sending me pictures of their goats and it puts a smile on my face. So turn off the video and go. <laughs> Again, I don't have to go at go time. <laughs> okay, so don't leave me base. The sound works. Does the sound work, Faith? Does the sound work?